Good day everyone. My name is Leonard G. Soriano and I'm happy to be part of the event today, Pista ng Mapa, Day 3, and I'll be giving a short lightning talk uh, for this conference. The title of my presentation is 3D Visualization of Mount Pinatubo Pre and Post Eruption. My first slide would be about the geography of uh, Mount Pinatubo. So this mountain or this volcano is actually north of Manila. It's about 110 kilometers and it's surrounded by three provinces. The province of Zambales, Pampanga, and Tarlac. So it's around uh, maybe an hour and a half drive. Uh, going going to the foothill of the volcano. So just a short history about this volcano. Uh, way back 29 years ago, uh, it erupted in June 15, 1991. And it was considered to be the second largest volcanic eruption of this century. And the eruption produce high-speed avalanches of hot ashes and gas, giant mud flows, and a cloud of volcanic ash hundreds of miles across. And I remember during that time I was in Manila, it was afternoon and suddenly it turned dark and you think that it's already evening. And after a few days, there were already, or the next day there were already some ash fall reaching Metro Manila. So presently, this is Mount Pinatubo Crater Lake. Uh, this picture was taken 2016 uh, by a good friend. And they took this image facing the north. So this is a different side of the lake where a few, only a few tourists also uh, visit this crater rim. So the reconstruction of Mount Pinatubo pre-eruption uh, was brought about by this curiosity of mine uh, many years ago that I was wondering uh, how did Mount Pinatubo look like uh, before its eruption or before it had a lake uh, which we have presently. And in order to recreate that 3D pre-eruption model, uh, one data set that I needed to produce was a digital elevation model. So the source agency that provides uh, data on topography uh, and other related spatial data is the National Mapping and Resource Information Agency or Nambria. So luckily, uh, Nambria has still archived the old topographic maps and I was able to get hold of the topo map of Mount Pinatubo pre-eruption. And I scanned that and that's the thing that I will show you in the next slide. Uh, another thing that you need uh, that I use in recreating this reconstruction uh, model uh, is the G GIS software. I uh, made use of QGIS and plugins QGIS 3JS, Raster Tracer, and DEM to 3D. Okay. So this is the data preparation. On the left uh, image is the topo map, an old topo map, which is a raster file. And the idea is uh, after it was scanned, uh, it needs to be changed to a vector file. So uh, I digitized it both manually and making use of some plugins, the, the, the raster to uh, like the raster to vector plugin that will help you in digitizing uh, certain features of the map. So after digitizing uh, and inputting all the elevation data, 
for every contour line, I was able to produce this pre-eruption DEM. And as you notice at the center of the map, here, that's where that's the original uh, Mount Pinatubo, and it had the highest it had the highest elevation of 1,745 meters. So from that DEM, I was able to produce this pre-eruption 3D model. So as you can see, uh, Mount Pinatubo, there were two peaks, and there was a saddle between those two peaks, and it did not have yet a crater lake. And the next thing that I did was to have a comparison of the pre-eruption and the post-eruption. For the post-eruption, it was a bit uh, easier because I was I just downloaded the data of Aster, uh, which is free, and it is 30 meter resolution, and it is already a digital elevation model. So that spared me from digitizing the present topographic map and producing a digital elevation model. So from this file, uh, I was able to produce again the post-eruption 3D model, which is the one that you see at the moment. And at the center of the map, you see this depression. Uh, there's the, that's the crater lake, and when uh, because of the eruption, uh, this lake was formed. So this is a screenshot of uh, the digital elevations for the pre-eruption and post-eruption of Mount Pinatubo. And one fun thing that I thought of doing uh, from this um, mapping passion project was to produce some 3, actual 3D uh, models such as this one. So what I did is to export the DEM to an STL file, making use of a plugin called DEM 3D Printing. And what it does, this plugin just simply converts your raster file into a, an STL file. And why do you need an STL file? Because that's the common format that is used when 3D printing uh, models or, or is done. So this is the some screenshot of that process. Uh, it was called the SLA or the Stereolithography 3D printing process. So here, uh, firstly the model is uh, sliced and and viewed before it gets to be printed. And this is the printer. So after five hours of uh, printing, uh, you get something like this, uh, the output of it, which has still the, the braces. And on the bottom right, you get the final output, which is this one, uh, which is good to have. It's a very uh, useful educational material because especially if you are, let's say, uh, visually impaired, uh, you could really feel the, the topography. You could find out where the crater is, where the ridges are, or where the valleys are. So that's the actual 3D model. Uh, the scale is 1 is to 800,000, and it's pretty small. It's only 80 by 80 by 6 millimeters. Okay, so this is that one. So that's my presentation uh, of the pre and post eruption of Mount Pinatubo. Rami salamat and thank you for listening.